Hey, you need hey, some cocaine? Hey, lady, that runs the uh, liquid pod, cocaine. The podcast studio. You give me one of them Celsius, it's all the cooler. <laughs> God, the cooler. Look at your podcast studio. <laughs> all the cooler. You got to be a cooler, man. Listen, we got a fun subject to talk about today, not, right? so. With a cooler, <laughs> with a cooler in it. Hey man, listen. About my studio listing. Oh, this is a cell, buddy. That damn right. Hey, I'm listening. When we're talking about conspiracy, you got to be deep in the dungeon, hidden away from society somewhere, so nobody can find you. This Are you taking the Celsius for real? You get one yeah. right now? No, nah, I'm not getting one right now. The podcast is live, which we're recording. I'm about to get Man. one. That's Chelsea is gonna give us a sponsorship. Join me. Yeah, I will. But yeah, I had to be in the cellar talking about this subject, man. Fucking UFOs, bro. I got a couple of stories. I got, I think I got three of them. Three good ones. Personal accounts. Of this. When you tell the stories, turn the lights out so you look like one of them shadows in the background that's trying to hide their fucking <laughs> identity. <laughs> nah, you, you, like, you ain't yeah, black enough. enough. You look like a Diddy victim. <laughs> what, you, what is it? What are you talking? Diddy's. <laughs> With yeah, the all black on. Like, we don't even want to talk about that. Diddy took I my mean, man. Uh, wow. I mean, Whoa. we we uh, picked a good time not to talk about that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's so interesting. It we're not gonna crazy. we're not gonna talk about it at all, yeah. but it's yeah, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So basically, we're talking about UFOs today, man. And, uh, and UAPs. And UAPs, as they call them now, unidentified aerial phenomena. Um, used to be a big stigmatism mentioning this shit, man. Used to be <laughs> something I talk about. You can't mention it. Come on, man. All right, man. I'll quit. I'm fucking niggas. Bro, bro, you the one that got the stigmatism, nigga. <laughs> hey, bro, I wasn't going to say nothing, but it was funny. It's just stigma, bro. Stigma. <laughs> I'm black. This is a black podcast. We you make up words. Adding isms to shit. Yeah, we just add. <laughs> we add words. <laughs> you know you're, me? You heard of the dude? The most the dude that put out there. <laughs> you heard the dude that put Earl on the end of the end of everything? Oh, that nigga. That nigga's stupid. That nigga's retarded. <laughs> that nigga's retarded. <laughs> you retarded her, bro. You're you so retarded, retarded her with the stigmatism. All right, so. <laughs> well, ah, uh, let's let's talk about the UFOs right. and shit. It, like these right, just UFOs. UFOs been around, man. I mean, been seen visiting the planet Earth during even biblical times and shit. There are paintings out there of, in the background with UFOs in them. Uh, you look at the hieroglyphs and certain shit, and uh, you'll see what looks like saucer discs and hieroglyphs or different cultures around the world will have what looks to be like people in spacesuits and shit like that. So UFOs is, is nothing new. Which kills me about this whole UFO thing is which a lot of scientists say is like always think we're the only fucking thing in this universe. As hmm. big as this universe they tell us it is, we're the only thing that was able to create life on it. The only thing that was able to sustain life were all these different planets. And out of all these planets and how old the universe is, there's no other galaxy somewhere far, far away that got life with technology more advanced than us. Which is funny. They can find shit. planets that are made of diamonds. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I just want to, you know, before we continue, the, the, the alien ships, they're on their way. You should be they're here in like two weeks. Armada. The Armada. Well, mm -hmm. they're gonna come and deliver the stuff to the ports that we can't yeah. get delivered on Tuesday. Yo, heaven, <laughs> yo, heaven, the fucking what's that shit called? The Amazon come from another planet. You on another level. That's what Bezos and them are doing. No. <laughs> I think it's like, yo, we need that new shit. <laughs> well, we're getting intergalactic mail ordered brides. Well, recent of I'm recent, down. the UFOs, this, these whole things, man, you know, with the gimbal shit, the gimbal. Yeah, you ever heard? I know you heard the gimbal. No. Uh, enlighten me, please. The gimbal was um, a, 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 a squadron of fighter planes was, you know, doing the routine, uh, you know, 
fly over out on the coast. I forgot the name of the coast, but it's in the U.S. Uh, it's in the Washington Post. They something was spotted on radar, and these planes were scrambled to go out there and find, you know, what was on this radar. And when they got to there, is this thing? If it, it it looked like a they called it the gimbal because it looked like it was like a it was like a disc with two round balls on the end. It was like, but the ship was like flying sideways. The way it was flying seemed the way it was flying impossible. resembles a gimbal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically. They couldn't mm-hmm. disprove this shit because not only did the people who was flying the jet seen it, the radar picked it up, and not only the radar, the um, the actual plane with the lidar, or whatever, was able to pick it up. Okay. So these are three different things that all like, hey, I visually see it, I see it on radar, and my jet is also picking it up. Like it's trying to lock onto this object. So this ain't like some dude with a fucking home video camera out there. Hey, look, I got an alien. There's really some nigga in the tree with a strand holding a fucking piece, a plate or something. Yeah. N- nothing with plausible deniability is straight up like poof in your face. Yeah. So, so let me let me ask you a question. And we can con- and you can continue with the story. I'm just I'm putting it out there. Do you think and we can continue this discussion that anybody would be ready to really hear and believe that any of this shit exists anyway, like the general public. I, I don't think they want it. Like, I, I think don't people think they are they actually wanna... waiting for, for it to just happen. It's a lot of people that are just like, it's inevitable. Okay. Well, what do you do? Yeah. I, I, if, man, it's not. I think why they want to hide is because, like, dude, it, it'll send it'll send us into fucking chaos, man. And so, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I got the. Video. I'm sorry. I'm show you the video the gimbal because I got loaded up. The video. There you go. Anytime you gotta uh, show videos or something, you should just start. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm because I'm actually like. I if know. y'all know how the studio, I'm going. I'm going to the different joints. I'm looking at shit, so I am. Yeah, I'm tweaking, Kev. So here's <laughs> not you. Here's it's, the, it's, it's the audio. Here's the. That's okay. Right, do y'all got it on? Y'all got it on screen. Y'all see it, right? Got it, brother. All right, so I'm gonna rewind it for you. Oh, yeah, brother. And here it is. Right here. This is what with, with the airplane picked up. Yeah, there's a whole fucking drone, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots in the west. Oh, all things, dude. This is the pilot talking to each other. Don't move down. That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. It is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a good thing, mm-hmm. it's rotating. So, so for right. our listening audience, the way that this thing was flying and rotating, it it's almost like it was it's almost like it was like a a base like a base to it and it would spin around the base like a gimbal if that makes any sense like a gimbal correct <clears throat> um what if all of this shit is just a fucking hoax all the way through what if this is a hoax between that's NASA not a hoax bro and you, listen what if this is a hoax between NASA and the government you think they can't make videos, bro? You think that shit is, That's is not unfathomable? Like, what if they're anything. making this to you can't this? make what if this you is... can't make a video of that? That is, I Why? mean, you can make a video, but this is not how this was explained. This this is the video that got released to the public. This wasn't no video. This was them actually doing they were doing test flights. So it was it nothing supposed to yeah. Okay. Well, nothing was supposed to be in this. Nothing was supposed to be in this airspace. They were supposed to just go out there. You know, they're going out there to test, do test flights and everything like that. So the radar of where they at has to pick up, make sure the airspace is clear. They pick this shit up. They scramble these. From what I heard, they scramble these guys out there to go fucking make, to investigate. Okay. The reason I know this can't be a hoax between NASA. 
and and the government and all that. Like, y'all heard of Project A Tip? Nah, enlighten me. Assume I haven't heard of any of that. Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Okay. They have taken these shit so serious because they're flying over naval, they're flying over bases, they're they're uh inspecting aircraft, they are flying in restricted airspace that the government is like, say they testing a new uh a jet they got, they want to test it out. These things are becoming dangerous because planes is like just missing these fucking things that they had to put this program in for people to fucking start recording these things. So yeah. I'm going to like you on Project A-Tip, man, because it's crazy and you can read it for yourself exactly what it is. But that's why I know this isn't no hoax by the government. Like, government, why would you want to fucking hoax this shit? This is the most... That's to, make the most you think that, to make you think that outer space is real. What if it's mm-hmm. not real? We just spoke on the Earth could be flat. It do, it does if, you believe in the, if you believe in the Bible, then you believe that there's a firmament and there is no space. But what I if say they we don't attack want both. you to believe that? We what can attack you, both. Yeah. Why? I want to. I want to know why you. Why it's so unfathomable? Fathom. I can't even say the word now. Unfathomable. Uh, well, well, yeah. I, you see I, how weird it is to say it. Well, I'm gonna why tell you why. So unfathomable why? <laughs> to believe or or even understand that they can they can doctor these things the way that they like. It's the fucking government. This is, the, this is the people Bro. who take millions and billions of dollars out of their own people's pockets so they can do stuff like pretend stuff. that they went to space. <laughs> you okay. know what I mean? Well, I'm going to tell you my back, back then. I'm going to tell you my one personal story. I'm going to start with how, why I believe that these shits is real and why You may feel, I, but you don't know. It's no, okay. Those I, are I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell you my story. Just, okay. This is, my, this, is a real, this is a real story. This is me and my cousins in the 90s was my cousin Calvin, Raheem, my cousin Rolanda, and my cousin Rebecca. We all playing in, the, you know, playing outside, riding our bikes and shit, riding around the neighborhood. This is a seeing that aliens. Next thing, y'all, next thing you know, you see yeah. this fucking ball of light shit fucking just flying, just okay. coming through the sky. After that, you see like, you can see there's like four fucking helicopters <laughs> chasing whatever the fuck this thing is, like just chasing it. It's four helicopters. This fucking thing where we looking at in the sky, it stops, like stops, like just stops, like this ball just stops. The four helicopters then position itself around whatever this fucking ball of light is. They sit in there. As kids, I'm look, we all looking at each other like, yo, are we all seeing what we fucking think we're seeing right now? We all looking at each other. So we're steady looking at this thing. Four helicopters have this thing surrounded. This motherfucking thing shoots so fucking fast up into the fucking sky. It just shoots straight the fuck up until it disappears. The helicopters, I can tell they're fucking confused because them niggas sit there for about a good minute. Just in the same spot they was all in surround this thing, just sitting there, just fucking sitting there. Like, what the fuck that we just saw? And like Mm -hmm. flew off. So they could have just been sitting there... Just survey the area no. to see who all they can no, think bro. Seen this, no. this projectile. No. I'm telling you, yeah, you just I, in their minds. You, you seen the helicopter? You the person. people in the helicopter is looking confused. Or you Nigga, see the helicopters I, just sitting there? They just sitting there. This fucking thing because they had it surrounded. The shit shoots when they had it surrounded. The fucking ball just shoots straight. I mean, it shoots straight the fuck up. The shit goes so fucking fast and disappears so quick. The helicopters just sitting there. And they just fly off. We're tripping as kids, telling everybody like what well, we just saw. Nobody wants to believe us. So every time I bring this up, I tell people this story. I was like, "Oh, I have my cousin. Yo, you remember that night we was riding around the fort? They we all have. It's not like we all tell a different story. We all tell the same story. What we saw that night. That's what I saw that night. I know for a fact. That's yeah, what but what if like. what if they have some shit that you don't know about because they're the fucking government? And they're but, testing some shit, and you're able to see the test. They don't give a fuck if you can see it or not. They don't give a fuck if you think it's a UFO or not. Maybe they bro. want you to think it's a UFO. You know what I'm saying? Like you make it seem like they can't 
put together a plan to make it seem like something right in front of your eyes. Why would they make a plan for West Stack, New both. Jersey, a, a town of town, of no more than 100 people in, in the sky, East. bro? What makes yeah, you, you gotta, think that you, you, you would be the only town that could see Yeah, it you have to understand sky. that in the sky is you where live you live in a box. The sky right is now. the biggest, the, the sky yeah. is the biggest screen. Screen. That you that Ever. everyone in the area can watch, but I, you I believe see it, somebody in, in Glassboro could probably see it, type shit. You know, Glassboro, what I mean? Philadelphia, bro. Yeah, I'm just I'm just giving him something like close just enough for I, him I'm to trying to think tell outside you outside of West Echo. I'm not I'm mm-hmm. trying to tell you what I saw. I don't think a fucking screen in fucking 1995. We're not saying I don't think we screen, had the technology in 1995 that, to make some shit like that up. We're not why? Why wouldn't you think that, bro? Because, bro, I, <clears throat> if we were able to make technology, yo, bro, 1995, pitch black at night, a fucking like, I don't think you have the technology to shoot something. If you would have saw what the fuck I saw that night, you would be like, this wasn't no fucking gas or somebody playing around. Like, why, why scramble four military helicopters? Fuel on that shit ain't cheap. Why scramble four of these motherfuckers to chase this fucking thing? And I mean, this thing was fucking rolling. Like, it was fucking, it was moving so fast, and when it fucking stopped, it, like, it stopped on a dime. It wasn't like it slowed down and fucking came to a stop. That motherfucker was rolling. Stop. The helicopters finally caught up to this shit, and when they caught up to this motherfucker, they all positioned themselves around it, shined their lights on it, try to capture this shit. That shit from a dead, complete stop, Fucking shot up into the fucking atmosphere and fucking disappeared. So, all right, let's let, let me jump in here because I think we're having two conversations. Both can be valid. Um, one kind of disproves what we're talking about, not disproves, but kind of throws everything out the window. What Those we're talking about. So let's so let's because I think both can be true. I do believe both. I do believe the government has some interest in faking some stuff, and I do also believe that there are some things that we obviously can't explain. Um, it could be in the dimensional. It could be in their you know whatever it is. Um, so I think the two conversations can both exist, you know, and we can, and we can talk about them both because yes, just to, to put it out there in 1995, yeah, they could have faked that shit because the technology is further along than what you think and what you had. Like you understand the general public's not going to have, I'm not remember, saying that you're wrong or right. And that you didn't see yeah, neither or one. that you did see. You definitely All saw I'm it. saying is that. It don't don't think it's too far off for them to try to pull the wool over your eyes right in front of your face. No, you, you saw it. I mean? You You've definitely seen saw some it. Hundred percent. You seen some shit. But this is this is another thing why I believe, which like I believe that there's something else out there. It don't got to be from outer space because they switched right. the name from UFOs to UAPs, UAPs because these things is more seen coming out of the ocean and flying back into the ocean. More than they're seen from coming from and outer crazy. space to Earth. That's why they changed the name from UFOs, UAPs, because these things are constantly seen flying, flying over the ocean. So here's a I sent y'all a text because I was watching the video and I'm like, man, that was crazy. Somebody said in the last 15 years, we have quadrupled our technology from the previous mm-hmm. 5,000 years combined. Yes, sir. We went from we had a horse and buggy for the years. longest. You get what I'm saying? You had horses still that mm-hmm. for the longest. They couldn't advance pro- past that to go from in a short period from a steam engine to a car to airplanes. The shit that can fly out space. J- just look at something as simple as a fucking TV. I think what First TV came out what nineteen what? Uh, uh, don't shit, don't get me to lie. About to say yeah, maybe uh, nineteen. Maybe the, uh, well, okay, okay. Put it this way: first color TV. I think color TV came in like in the nineteen sixties. That's you what. Right about that. Nineteen sixties was that six six uh, what sixty years ago? About that. I'm not yeah, cool. I'm not six, cool. six yeah sixty uh, roughly sixty years ago. Cool. Just say sixty years country. ago. Yeah, don't yeah. say eighty, but it's all good. Eighty. Right, call TV. No. Mother was born in '65, so she's about she's 80 60. years old. My hey, mother yo. is 60 years old, 60 <laughs> years, 60. So, 60 years you went from the color 
from just having a color TV to a fucking 4K fucking TV. I would just talk to my girl. I'm like, damn, I remember watching the 1998 NBA Finals. Fuzzy as shit. So now I can watch a fucking basketball game and I can see what the person on the sideline is drinking. Like I can see, I can make out this motherfucker has a a, a, a Sprite bottle in their hand. Right. To me, right. barely recognizing the fucking numbers on the back of the jerseys. Like it's fuzzy to that point. Like if a player is not he was dribbling the ball. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm like, so the reason I say that because the whole thing, if you watch, which I'm going to play a video, this dude named David Grush, he was talking about that the government, the president That's doesn't know, Congress doesn't know that we've been recovering space aircrafts, I mean, these extraterrestrial aircraft since the 1940s and be reverse engineering the shit. They said sure. we, uh, we reverse to get uh, fiber optics, um, 3D printing. A lot of shit because if you ever heard of the guy named Bob Lazar, he was describing when he they he was it was had a, a crash ship and he was describing the ship. It was seamless, it was no it was no welds, it was no place where it was bolted together. It's this is him describing in the 70s that it was all just one uniform piece, like it was just all like it was just all one piece. There was no seams or no nothing, everything would just move. Back then, you couldn't explain it because everything back then had to be either welded together at the seam or bolted here. Right. In 1979. But now that we got shit like 3D printing where you can fucking 3D print something, there's no welds, there's no... Like, it's all together. Like, it's all one piece. So this technology was explaining back then that he couldn't understand like we have it now. So there, there had to be... If we look into it without any scientific evidence, just three niggas, there had to be some interference for technology to do such a jump from that time to now. Uh, because even, and I hate using this uh, example over and over again, but even how we're communicating right now, it's like it, it, it was so unheard of 50 years ago. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I also believe that if you can imagine it and if it can be funded, Somebody can figure out how to do some shit. Yeah. Especially if the technology is already progressing. If I have a car, it's going to be, you know, like it's going to be a couple years before the next person who is competing with me. Or if I if I design a car, the first car, I don't know, the Ford, whatever them niggas was doing. And my car doesn't have, which this was the case, doesn't have windshield wipers and it rains. Somebody going to say, yo, I'm, I'm going to figure out how to make make it safer for me to drive in the rain and create windshield wipers. If somebody's trying to back up, somebody's going to figure out, well, how the fuck can I back up without, oh, I'm going to create rear view mirrors. Like there's ways that technology can improve by, you know, just by, just by people competing with the same product. You know what I mean? Which is, isn't disproving things. I'm just saying like both can, both can be true. The, the, the initial intervening and, and designing these products initially can be one thing and the improvement on those products can be another. Well, to counteract your argument, right? Counteract your argument. Okay. Why wasn't back then where, where people was thinking, because all we did back then was war and shit like that. Why did it take so long for them to fucking, when they went, when they discovered gunpowder, it takes so long to get them to a point now where you have an automatic rifle. Automatic rifles took a took hundreds of years to fucking come into play. You know what I'm saying? From them having a musket or just shooting off one bullet at a time. And war is the most important thing to people on this fucking planet. That's all we ever fucking do. Since the beginning of the time, all we think how to make a better sword, how to make a better shield, how to make a better bow, a crossbow. I mean. So all right, let, so so let's not talk I'm, out our asses. Give give me a second and let's say when was the first let's Google it, even though Google shouldn't be trusted either. Sorry, Google. Uh when was the first gun invented? First. You could talk. Yeah, I'm 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 doing it right now. I'm just I'm looking it up. First gun invented was from from a Firelands 
between China and the 10th, 12th century. All right, I don't know what the fuck that means. I got a thousand eight. I got a thousand eight. 1836. 1836. 1836. When was the first automatic weapon? Automatic. 1884. All right. Automatic. Wait. That's repeating. That's like, that's go. not like that. First automatic machine gun. Same shit. The Maxim gun invented by Haram Stevens Maxim in 1884. Same shit. And, and you got to go know, through some bad. shit. My bad, fourteen. My bad, fourteen thirty-two. The first, the first handgun was my bad. I'm sorry, fourteen thirty-two. The first handgun was introduced. Fourteen thirty-two. Four hundred years later, you finally get a fucking automatic rifle. Four hundred years later, that's some niggas fast with that shit. Niggas, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Four hundred years later. Like this. <laughs> but uh, you get what I'm saying. Four hundred years later, you get an automatic rifle. Something that's most important to humans. Yeah. Ever, uh, you would think that's the only thing we ever thought about on this planet was advancing this. What makes a person says it's like my bombing them, like watching um, Man. the Jetsons, the Jetsons, watching the Jetsons, and it was so far fetched back then that you can have a conversation with your. They used to have conversations. With their doctors on the TV screen, they would talk to the doctor on the TV screen to help, you know, whatever the kid that was sick at the time. Right. Back then, watching that in 1965, like, oh man, we would never have that in the future. To where now is what we're doing right now is like I can webcam my doctor. I did it before with my son. And he could tell you you got herpes, right? What's wrong with my kid? (laughs) I had a webcam interview with my doctor about my son. Yeah. Or whatever. Whatever. I had a webcam interview by my doctor about my son. She told oh, me right, to bring him to the screen and we're doing everything. And she showed me, she was like, Can you please, you know, put his feet to the screen? Cause she wanted to examine the bottom of his foot. She was like, Yeah, to keep him, you know, he looks like he suffered from flat foot. You have to give him a sh- uh, sneaker with an insole, Nike, whatever. Right. But back in 1965, when you were seeing this shit on the Jets, I was like, The fuck, this isn't heard of. Of course. And now, you know, sixty years later, this is this is the norm. Like our kids, like the Jetsons was going to school from off their fucking off their TV screen. The kid was sitting in front of the so, computer. I'm gonna tell you. Real now. So we Stop. had a. So I'm gonna yeah. tell you why. With the internet, and the, I'm not even gonna say popularity, but the necessity of having the internet, that was a generational change you, you you see what i'm saying like we were slow for a while up until the internet became so prevalent in everyone's household and all the infrastructure was already ran to the point where we jumped tremendously because like once you once you once you get to the point where everybody's connected without having to actually be there that's when things like working from home become a thing Right. So more prevalent, you know what I'm saying? More prevalent. That's when things like doing things like, um, like, you know, doing a doctor's visit via your TV or via your, like all the technology pretty much is running off of that base when before that might've been the ceiling. Does that make sense? So if, if that's uh, the base, if the internet and connectivity is the base level, phones are the proof, phones are proof, all the proof you need. I'm, oh, I thought you was flagging me. Think you uh, fuck out of here. Um, but phones are the only proof you need. Once the internet became more prevalent and everybody had it, and you had to pay for it, and it was not a big deal to get because my mom didn't have the internet when I was young. She, she, nigga, we was the only ones without internet. Everybody said internet. <laughs> you want me to research some shit? I still had to go get the encyclopedia. You know what I'm saying? Or go to the library or go somewhere where they had the internet. But it's to the point where everybody has it and you have it on your phone. So now your car. Now your car can do some crazy shit, can it? Yeah. Like your car can have the internet. You know what I mean? You could play games on your car. It's niggas that could use their steering wheel as the controller for their game in their car. Well, right. A lot of, like, and, a and, it's, lot. And, and, and it's something that may be simple now, but 20 years ago, there was somebody that had their PlayStation with them, said, damn, I wish I could play this shit in my car. That would be great. 
the internet was in juice, the internet that you talk about. Internet came from the government. And a lot of these stories that you hear from most of these government officials or these people that are coming forward, these whistleblowers are saying, yo, a lot of this technology, we got internet, this is all back engineered from the UFOs and shit that we're recovering. Like all this stuff is coming back, back engineered is, is stuff. It's saying it's stuff that they got that they can't talk about now that the government's in, in control of that will blow our fucking minds. The reason, another reason, like I said, back to earlier talking about firearms, the reason why they try to downplay this shit and make it look like we shouldn't talk about it or make people look crazy. We're not the only ones. The United States is not the only ones seeing this shit. The United States is not the only ones uh, recapturing these aircrafts that are down. There's other country, countries that we are at war with or at odds with, such as Russia, China, that's doing the same thing. It's a fucking... It's a rat race to see who can back engineer this shit first and whoever does will control this planet because nothing we have on this planet is capable of keeping up with these ships. If I can back engineer one of these aircrafts to do what I know they can do, I can rule this planet. Nothing you got, nothing you got on this planet can, can deal with it can stop it, can outmaneuver it, or deal with the technology. It was a um it was a thing. I, I gotta research the date, but they said they had a F uh they had a UFO fly over uh over a base in Russia and it took control, it armed all their nuclear warheads. This is a real thing, it's a real occurrence. They armed all their nuclear warheads. This is during the cold, the height of the Cold War, armed all their nuclear warheads. Got them set to fire. At the base, they had no control over to get these things to stop stop them from firing while this thing was over the base. Mm -hmm. Basically, this UFO armed them, was ready to launch them off and start World War III. As quick as it armed it, it disarmed it and let it know, like, yeah, motherfucker, we can control your most powerful weapon that you have on this planet. We can be in control of these motherfuckers at will if we wanted to so you don't think no other warring countries would have like that a, technology like a simple letter would have sufficed what well they didn't they just said hey motherfucker you could have like, told them that <laughs> you could have just told them that that's uh, a lot they, to, they, that's a lot to infer by <laughs> driving by and arming their nuclear weapons like you driving off like they'll get the message like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro that is like the I'm ultimate yo. About it hey yo, <laughs> man, man, about it. Steve, motherfucker. <laughs> they think they're superior, hey, but like, yo, did you tell them? They know. Trust me. They, like you they know. <laughs> They've seen us. We did it. We left. We stopped. They know. All right. Yo, so. you said you send them my message? Kinda. <laughs> I sent them a message, so. all right. <laughs> Niggas confused as hell. Like, what the fuck just happened? Mm-hmm. So this this is another reason. So this is from the National Air and Space Museum, as y'all can see. It's not real. This was a, a newspaper clipping from 1947 outside of Roswell. Uh, Roswell, Roswell Air Force. Is the first is the first Roswell being the first recorded, um, yeah. like contact that we had with a assumed with alien the ship. Correct. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So. This is this was this is what kicked off Project Blue Book. Basically, they the newspaper and the Air Force tells the newspaper, yeah, we have captured a flying saucer on a ranch in, Ro in Roswell. Like the Air Force comes out and tells Roswell this. Mm -hmm. The president at the time, Truman, was like scared that this shit would get out to the masses. It did. Sent his sent government officials there to shut this shit down and stop other people from coming out and interviewing these people. Everybody that had something to do with that crash gathered them all the fuck up wouldn't let the press talk to these people and a couple of days later that's when that Roswell thing it was just a down weather balloon and here goes the foil this is what we recovered. Yeah, gotcha. And that's where Project Blue Book came in and all Project Blue Book was 
to capture like all these sightings like you can report to this like if, if you heard of sightings you collect all this data and you fucking you collect it you bring it back to us nobody else knows about this we have it uh we have it right now you can you can get this shit in the freedom the uh freedom to know act freedom of information act or freedom of, yeah freedom of information act okay so the more you know act so you have to you have to so i want y'all to understand this right and let's have more of a conversation i don't want us to just keep giving facts and not have a conversation about it no i, I just yeah go to conversation imagine that infrastructure being in place since then now what do you got oh you have if if, if every agency that you reported to say you call 911 I can imagine being a nigga from 911 or uh, the police officer coming out there and saying, what you say? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm scared to death. Who I'm supposed to report it to? I report it to my oh. superior. His the superiors reports it to the correct government agency. They come out and cover it up. Oh, don't worry about that. It was a, my point being is think about how many things that actually happened, like the shit that Kev saw that night that was just... For normal people swept under the rug, but for them, they are just taking notes on what actually occurred. Think about how much shit you don't know. And that's and that's what the dude David Grush is the whistleblower come up. That's what I'm saying. This thing is so deep right now that how deep it is, like it's so deep. Your president is president is briefed on everything when he comes through the fucking door. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even have information to this. Congress wants to know every they don't have. It's agencies within agencies. They said it's like it's like these funded these programs is getting funded. It's like they're getting funded to some fucking uh, uh, investigation of corn. Uh, how corn makes methane gas? It's like who's who's? Why are we sending twenty million dollars to this fucking corn I think investigation? A, I think you mix a C with a P there, buddy. Whatever, corn, you know what I mean. Whatever. The corn. Why, why? Why are we? Why are we sending fucking money to this to investigate corn? Why? Why hundred million dollars to this to this project? And it's really shit. And it's really shit. Like it's, yo. That's a that's a that's a, a fake name that these agencies like. Yo, this yeah, is how we are funding. Yes, funding yeah. this program hidden. hidden. The government doesn't know about it, but you know, because they don't really check. They don't really care. It's our fucking money that is going to this shit. Enter the MIB. Yeah. The real MIB. They really send them dudes. Them dudes will really come out. Like them dudes with something crazy happen. They said a lot of people that used to report on UFOs like, oh, we see these dudes show up in these fucking black suits. They have a conversation with us. They tell us in a very stern way what we seen is what we didn't really, you know, we, you know, what we've, we thought we saw wasn't real. In a stern way that you get it that you really didn't see this. Then they erased the memory. This conversation. We shouldn't have this conversation again about this. Please don't tell nobody else about it. We Please know where don't. you live. No, we'll just discredit you or take you out of take you take you off this earth. Oh, let's well, just I mean, get it getting into getting into a, another whole thing now. A lot of stuff is conspiracy theory. So whoever's listening or whoever's watching, just indulge with us. Pretend like whatever we say in is fact. How about that? There's this guy who um who on camera on TikTok posted that he saw like a giant, right? Uh, he saw it from far, right? So he was, I think he was, might have been on a freeway or something like that, looking at like a mountain, a mountainside, and has on camera seemed to have caught a giant, you know, kind of doing his thing and then going back into this mountain. So the guy kept going back out to where he saw it at to the point where there was people in black sedans waiting at the end of his you know end of his street and all that all the way up into the point where he just stopped posting yeah. right and then you go to check up on him because everybody's a detective on tiktok and oh no he died they say yeah no he died i mean these things we that that's just something that you might think you know about, but think about how many of those things actually happen. Because if I told you, that's like me telling y'all I saw something and I got video proof and I share it with y'all. You know, I ain't going to shut up about it because I know what I saw. Unless somebody come threaten me, then I'm damn sure going to shut up about it. But the point being is that if they don't want that to come out, it ain't coming out. Well, my nigga, watch, watch the, the dude, like I said, watch him about the plays video soon, the David Grush interview when he's getting... um 
And he's gonna sit in front of Congress and they asked him, Congress asked him straight up, have you known anybody to be killed from leaking information about UFOs? And he said, he was like, uh, I'm not at liberty to speak about this in front of y'all, but we can yeah. talk about this behind closed doors. I killed him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, you and just pretty much say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but no, you. but yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I told I can, you, then I gotta I kill can you. Neither confirm or deny this. Yeah, I could, yeah exactly. And, and I'm saying, yeah. like, but they, I guess, whoever's in charge, think is in our best interest. Because what would we do? What would you do? That's, what you think would happen to this planet if they? That's going back to what I asked. One day, this fucking giant fucking thing comes fucking coming through the sky, and everything we send at it can't stop this motherfucker. It's like, yo, it's panic. It's pandemonium. It's like, mm -hmm. yo, how do I hide from this shit? How do I protect my family? Where do I get food? One of these things is going to come and get me. Is the government able to stop this fucking thing? Can they can? You know, are we about to be enslaved, annihilated? You don't know what it just fuck. It was just straight fucking chaos. Mm hmm. Straight chaos, and I'm guessing that's what the gov the uh these government officials are like. Yo, I don't want the world to go into chaos because if if they know we can't stop these fucking things, what possesses them to listen to us anymore? It's like you don't got control over these fucking things. Like when they come, it's it's over. It's a wrap for us. Why the fuck are we following y'all? Yeah, um, that will breed anarchy. That yeah. that that will breed anarchy because. That's the point. You're supposed to believe in the illusion that the government can protect you or will protect you. You're supposed to believe in that. Oh, yeah. will, at any cost, we have to make sure that the general public society believes that their government will protect them. If you don't believe that, then, or if the majority doesn't believe that, then what does that mean for current society? It's, 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 it's hard. It's hard for them. They don't believe. A lot of people don't believe they can protect them as it is. Yo, think about so, that. <laughs> yo, so if there's some, if there's another threat that's outer worldly, mm -hmm. then it's it's over. As soon as as soon as something like that happens, you know, I don't. I think it'll, it's going to be harder for us to just band together. It's going to be so many people in fear. It's going to be chaos. A lot of people are gonna be killing each other just to try to figure out how to how they can protect themselves. But the thing about it is, if there's an outer worldly uh, force to come and try to fight us, there ain't mm -hmm. no saving. They obviously know how to get here. We don't know how to get there because if we did, we'd be out there. You know what I mean? So when they come and they come in with some type of technology that's that's It'll probably Thanos us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come in and snap of a finger. Shit is done. I watched yeah. this movie called Occupation, and it was about uh alien an alien invasion. And the shit was real good, but it was like an Australian jaw. <clears throat> and when they came in, there was no mercy. There was nothing. They came in with the intent. Lost me in Australia. It, yeah. I mean, just imagine if if there's another <laughs> if there's aliens out there and they're desperate. They look at the world to live, and and this is a planet that is somewhere that they can habitat and live freely and and start over again. Desperation, they're gonna come here and be like, you know what? We we need to eradicate these billions of species that's on here so we can take over. They coming down and they immediately getting to work. Before you know it, it's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's why I think, like, like that's why I think we're having the dinosaurs. We probably fucking aliens that got stuck here. Them like motherfuckers came out. in that movie. They wiped out. They blew up Sydney from the rip. They blew Sydney the fuck up. Yeah, we're gonna get this up out of here right now. But they were showing shit all over the world. Like shit was happening everywhere. They just attacked <laughs> everywhere at once. Just people, people was running away like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. Yeah, Mike, Mike, you just blew up my favorite pub. <laughs> yo, hey, yo. 
So, because my brain goes to this. My brain. <laughs> I think he went Irish. My brain. My brain goes to this. These aliens that could come and destroy. Why haven't they? Number one, since since we're so. That's that's this is the fun part for me. The fun part is just the thought process of what could happen or what hasn't happened and why hasn't it happened and why are we still here? These these aliens that could come. Why haven't they come yet? That's number one. And number two, what do they possibly want this planet for? Right? So I say this when I imagine something like this happening. I really do want to know. All right, well, what y'all want? Because it's like that's like us going to y'all planet. Um, which if I could write movies right now, I would write movies about this. What would drive us to destroy anything on your planet? Or would we come if we saw like a caveman planet, right? Let's say it was a humanoid, whatever, and it was cavemen. Maybe we would try to help. Because what would be the reason for us to come to a technologically underdeveloped planet? to us and to eradicate what would we yeah. need from that planet well you don't have to technically destroy it. you see a caveman planet you like hey i'll give you our technology you look at us as you look at us as gods that's my point what, you give us what we need we always make sure that you're taken care of which i say which is probably happening right now in the government because supposedly there are like three different species there's like one that's come this, Two of them are friendly. One is hostile. The two that are friendly just comes and gives us technology and helps us out and better ourselves. While the third has hostile intentions, but the other two keeps that one at bay. How many? See, and that's another thing. If we think about, so there's let, let's 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 really put our tinfoil hats on. All right, let's leave some of the other shit behind. And let's really think about it. If there is one alien planet or one planet that's inhabited by these really super smart aliens how many other ones are there that's capable cool. of doing the same thing that, think i'm saying i'm just telling this is just this is my tinfoil hat on this is me digging through the tinfoil they're, 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 they said there's three species the air force recorded there are three species in their book the Air Force manual back in the 50s, it was a how to deal when you run into these three different species. Okay. How you're supposed to interact with them, what you're supposed to do with them, once engaged, which one's not to engage. I'll tell you. The two, but I'm saying the 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 friendly, he said the ones they said there were ones that was friendly that would just come. They knew our government knew about we had a peace treaty with them. You must be talking they about the tall us, grays. Yeah, they give us technology. Now. They give us technology, and some, and we when we run with their technology, we, and we give it to our people, but we at we, we have a treaty with them. There's okay. such things as is more tenfold has on. It's fucking other planets out there that fucking are in this intergalactic treaty amongst the other planets mm -hmm. that they probably trying to bring us into, but we just ain't s smart enough yet. They said our moon is like that makes a, sense. They said our moon is like a, a, is a gateway to an oh. interstellar highway. Oh, oh shit. Them crazy. niggas got I-95 for space. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they can come visit us. Our technology Yo, has not have what is been the toll? To yeah, the moon is just <laughs> the moon is just it's an interstellar highway that we're we're a treaty. Gotta bring us spare soul. Bring a fair soul with you. Yo, see, and I see. And here's the thing. This is why I'm not meant to be in the limelight. I could get super dark right now. Go ahead. When Kev, what would Kev just say it? Go ahead. There's a lot of people who disappear, right? Yeah. And we don't know why. And we don't know why, right? And we don't know why. We just know that they're doing nefarious things with these people. What if I'm gonna leave it there? I'm gonna leave it there. Would you think they like, hey, I got no, a no, guinea pig? I don't for think you. nothing. I don't think nothing, but you know how they say they sacrifice shit. Yeah, like the the celebrity sacrifice. I'm just leaving it there. There you go. I'm just there leaving it there couple. because th I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's we not think it's, I, would, I wouldn't think we it's, think not it's for their fame. Maybe they're granting fame, and, and, and so they can travel this inner interdimensional highway. Or maybe we just fucking guinea pigs to be studied. 
It's like, here go this. We're not like, that interested. It's, but it's, it we would be. It's just like, it's no different from us fucking going down to the bottom of the ocean and grabbing the fish that's just chilling, doing his own thing, bringing this motherfucker to the surface because we never seen it before and dissect it and see what his, what his diet is, what he eats, how he survives, what makes him tick. You know, it's like, hey, let's get a couple of humans. They don't look like us. Let's take them back to our planet, see their diet, dissect them, take yo, them apart, see what makes them tick. You ain't gotta take me back, yo. You really be yeah, you know, what, I mean? <laughs> what was the what was the Cartman episode? Uh, meal, what was the Cartman episode of fucking South Park when they shoved the telescope up his ass? The I fucking aliens got a hold of. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and they will come out out of nowhere. Season, right? Come out of nowhere. They're like, yeah. what the hell? I think. Yo, I'm a, you ever see this movie and it didn't come, come? Yo, you ever see this movie called The Fourth Kind? Is it The Fourth Kind? Yeah, yeah. We're Good Mila, movie, man. Mila, Mila. Yeah, we Mila Kornikovich or some shit. Yo, that was a good movie. You ever see that, Kev, with the ball head? About Think about it. Tell me breakdown of it. So now, so there's there's um there's like certain ways to describe like interactions with aliens. I think the first kind, the second kind, and the third kind. The third kind is contact, and the fourth kind, I believe, is um. It's abduction, I think. I don't know. That's, that's the one with the truck went on the highway. Are oh, you talking about specific? Yeah, the dude was on a pickup truck and, and a fucking spaceship dropped out of the sky and beamed the dude up. Nah, you talking about a cartoon? No, no, that was a movie. I didn't. I don't um, remember. Well, so because one of these movies was based off a true account of a dude's true account that was he went through. Then this is one of them, or they faked it. I thought it was a. I thought it was based. So this is in Canada. Canada? Yeah, that's it. They was a logging group. They was logging. They was all loggers or something like that. But let me, that was let me go into it because I don't remember no truck. Alleged true story. That was based on alleged me, true story. So let me ask you: In this movie that you seen, right? Was there a psychiatrist who recounted recounted these events with the people who were abducted? Yeah, because they thought he they thought they murdered their best friend. You might be right. Because I forget yeah, how I went, but you might be right. Yeah, he they, they thought they murdered their best friend, and then I think he it, they it was like y'all all murdered this guy, but I think he came back and like it was lost. Basically, if that's the same movie no. we're talking about, <laughs> now that movie was supposedly based on a true true event that actually happened. So where maybe we're it's so they, these are two different movies, but the, the the interesting part was, um, I forget what happened. All I know is this third kind, was, right? And it, it, it's a third kind, the third kind. Whatever, yeah. either way. Yeah, so this, this was supposedly right. based on a true story. Right, right. Um, that when I researched it, it wasn't. I thought it was, but it wasn't. But apparently, there's a lot of disappearances that happened in that area. A lot of people getting abducted and um. What they're doing is they say when we don't need to get into it, go watch it if you haven't. But what they were doing when they were recounting, she would hypnotize them and they would like recount what happened in that little blank spot where they couldn't remember what happened after they saw the owl at the end of the bed. And basically they were having interactions with the aliens and the alien were kind of speaking through them and shit. Um, but they said that that was a true story. Now, my thing is, how far off do you think they were? Bro, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's just crazy because you try to paint these people as fucking crazy, and they make it like who would go to that great lengths to fucking make something up like that? Because the one dude, he got burnt. He like he had radiation burns on him. It was like it was fucking bad. It was terrible. Like he was fucking next to a nuclear reactor or something. Definitely different you, movies. No, it, it, he, dog, you read the fucking story. It, it, you, you read the story like this, this, the third, the encounter of the third kind was a classic that was actually inspired by a real life witness testimony of a series of UFC sightings in Michigan. Of, yeah, this, of third this kind. Are you talking about close encounters of the third kind? The third kind yeah, close encounter of the third no, kind. The fourth, the fourth kind is a different movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that, the fourth kind was in Alaska. Alaska, that's what it was. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's like it a based. Steven Spielberg movie. <laughs> yeah, it was based on a true. It was based on a testimony. The dude Sounds got like burnt. He got 
He had got a UFO had landed. He Who's got the up. One of the guys got the truck and got like burnt up real bad by radiation. Yeah, different movie. Yeah, but it was basically go on- watch the fourth kind if you. I watch you, it. Go watch it. But, but I, listen, movie. third kind, the fourth kind, the third kind. I don't doubt. I the the one I'm talking about. I don't doubt that fucking happened. I don't doubt that the government covered it up. I don't doubt that they made these dudes to be out crazy. I'm pretty sure they said, hey. Whoever interviewed these guys or talked to this guy, what kind of spaceship did you see? What did the people look like? Because supposedly got burnt, you got put on their spaceship, and the aliens hailed them and brought him back. Like they like they realized they fucked him up really bad and they brought his ass back to the planet. They thought they killed their homie. <laughs> they, they thought they fucked him up really bad. And it was like, no, I'm sorry. Him back. <laughs> Wait, so you say <laughs> so the top alien was like, oh shit. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. Send them back. <laughs> I just, I mean, that's it. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's funny. I'm gonna find the humor in this shit. I'm gonna find the humor oh in aliens coming here because I couldn't help but to think when you said the aliens will come here and take over and like inhabit our planet is what if all the niggas was trained in the highest level of martial arts? That that's shit right. just. That's the first thing that popped into my head. And then you go try to fight them, you shoot them because the niggas doing this, and they just chop you in your neck and you fall out. That's the shit that go into my brain. I just didn't want to they hit you it. with they hit you with the Vulcan <laughs> touch like Spock, Mr. Spock, because he was an alien the Vulcan it. touch. Where'd you, where where you think he got it from? <laughs> exactly. Weird powers. There's listen, there's a planet out there where they own crap. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Let's get this podcast back on track because I don't know how we get <laughs> on sorry. track. I guess what I up, guess man? it's I guess nobody listen, man. <laughs> Kung Fuopolis. We, we, whatever. We 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 let's bring it back to fucking let's bring this shit back on track because this whole this whole aliens talking about alien thing, talking about aliens is like yo, these niggas is bugging, they tripping, these shits really don't exist. Niggas is making this shit up. Well, like, let me ask it, you. It's fucked up. All right, I'm about to hit you with something. This is oh, okay. I'm gonna get you with a four minute clip. I'm gonna let y'all listen to it. People on the podcast, we've been bringing this name up a lot. This is David Grush. This is his testimony in front of Congress. I'm gonna let you hear it, bro, because it it fucks you up, man. It fucks you up when he starts talking about it. It's crazy Give that th- this happened, and a lot of people didn't know this fucking thing was going on at the time. Don't Ready I- to start eating healthier? Yeah. Meet Kachava. Kachava is the world's healthiest <laughs> all in one. Oh, Yo, that's gosh. what they serve it as. Alien jizz. <laughs> Going for hours. Kachava. <laughs> Wait, I had to back it out. Every time we go on fucking YouTube, they're trying to sell you something. <laughs> hey, alien, we need some more Kachava. <laughs> Why don't you go? I'm on the way. <laughs> Mr. Hey, Chairman, hey, uh, ranking member and congressmen. Uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. This is an important issue, and I'm grateful for your time. My name is David Charles Grush. I was an intelligence officer for 14 years, in the, both in the U.S. Air Force, uh, both active duty Air National Guard and Reserve, at the rank of major, and most recently from 2021 to 2025, or excuse me, 2023, uh, at the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, uh, at the GS-15 civilian level, which is uh, the military equivalent of a full bird colonel. I was my agency's co-lead in unidentified anomalous phenomena and transmedium object analysis, as well as reporting to the UAP task force, UAPTF, uh, and eventually, once it was established, uh, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, ARO. I became a whistleblower through a PPD-19 urgent concern filing in uh, May 2022 uh, with the Intelligence Community Inspector General. Uh, Following concerning reports from multiple esteemed and credentialed current and former military and intelligence community individuals that the U.S. government is operating with secrecy above congressional oversight uh, with regards to UAPs. My testimony is based on information I've been given by individuals with a long-standing track record of legitimacy and service to this country, many of whom also have shared compelling evidence in the form of photography, official documentation, and classified oral testimony to myself and many my various colleagues. 
I have taken every step I can to collaborate this evidence over a period of four years while I was with the UAP task force and do my due diligence on the individual sharing it. Uh, this is because of these steps, I believe strongly uh, in the importance of bringing this information before you. I am driven by a commitment of both uh, to truth and transparency, rooted in our inherent duty to uphold the United States Constitution and protect the American people. I'm asking Congress to hold our government to this standard and thoroughly investigate these claims. Mm -hmm. But as I stand here under oath now, I am speaking to the facts as I've been told them. In the US Air Force, in my National Reconnaissance Office, NRO, reservist capacity, I was a member of the UAP Task Force from 2019 to 2021. I served at the NRO Operations Center on the director's briefing staff, which included the coordination of the presidential daily brief and supporting variety of contingency operations, which I was the Reserve Intelligence Division Chief uh, backup. In 2019, the UAP Task Force Director asked me to identify all special access programs and controlled access programs, also known as SAPs and CAPs, uh, we needed to satisfy our congressionally mandated mission and we were direct report at the time to the DEPSEC DEF. At the time, due to my extensive executive level intelligence support duties, I was cleared to uh, literally all uh, relevant compartments and in a position of extreme trust, both in my military and civilian capacities. Uh, I was informed in the course of my official duties of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program, uh, to which I was denied access to those additional read-ons when I uh, requested it. I made the decision, based on the data I collected, to report this information to my superior, superiors and multiple inspectors general, and in effect becoming a whistleblower. As you know, I've suffered retaliation for my decision, uh, but I am hopeful that my actions will ultimately lead uh, to a positive outcome of uh, increased transparency. Uh, thank you, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Well, so what the fuck that nigga say? <laughs> Basically, Yo, I do all he's saying shit. that Basically, what he was saying that the government, without your knowledge, we are in we have programs out there that capture and retrieve UFOs and reverse engineer them. Y'all don't have no clue this is going on. It's been going on for many decades, and I'm bringing it to light. Basically, that's what he said. It's an hour, is a one, is a one hour thing. Him testify in front of Congress. You can look it up. Name is David Grush. Why you think he? Why you think he wanted to come forward? Think he's from what he, from what I heard the interviews he he's doing. He was like, yo, he seen some shit, and the shit he seen and what they was doing like scared him. Like, yo, if this doesn't get out, oh, it, it, it was scared. He's basically scared at the technology that he was coming across of and the shit that he was seeing. He thought that that the world needed to know that this stuff was out there. Like yo, there's stuff. It's stuff out there that we we can't even fathom to think of. We can't. They trip if they was to come and take yeah. over the earth. We couldn't do anything against them. There, they will wipe us out if they wanted to, with ease. Nothing that We're we have food that chain is again. able to fucking deal with this threat. He thinks of them as a threat, and he thinks if we knew about it. That we can better prepare ourselves for something like this happening. Oh, hey, uh, what's his name? David David Grush. Grush. David Grush. Grush. I'm, I'm Grush what the fuck yeah. do you think we gonna do, sir? Uh -huh. We got guns. The military got better guns. <laughs> I think he. I think his. I think his. I think the reason he wants it out there is because. If we stop trying to just like, hey man, thinking like China, Russia, and all the stuff, thinking like, yo, we all at war with each other, and say, hey, look, bro, we all got the same fucking forces. technology. I think we should join forces. Tell y'all flags. Shit, we got the technology we got, and start preparing ourselves, just in case there comes a day where these things looks at us as a hostile. 
mm-hmm. or says, hey, we want to take over. We can't do nothing to stop them. I think you want better. They already took over. I was about to say, they probably were already probably working with them. Yeah. And they used us to get whatever they need from here. And our government inflicts whatever uh, rules and taxes and stuff that they need to get done, whatever they need to get done to keep these motherfuckers from annihilating us as it is. We we could already be hostages. They're mining on our souls. Planet. Yeah. <laughs> you never like, know. I mean, yeah. these motherfuckers, they, they, when people see these flying objects that are unidentified and these planes like the like those four helicopters that you said you've seen that night, they could be just, what if they're protecting them? Or guiding them somewhere, or just letting them know, that, yo, we behind y'all. We know y'all about to leave. They cut. They came to visit. They met their demands. And they're like, all right, thanks. You know, we'll be back here at such and such time. Y'all know the deal. Y'all, y'all already know what time it is. When we come back around, have our shit. And they come back every now and then, and and <laughs> yeah, they probably talk like that too. They, they yeah. talk like us. They learn our lingo. They come down here. Listen, have our shit when we get back here. We want our gold. We want our fucking Gold. plutonium. Yeah, because apparently g- the one thing on this planet that is worth the most is gold. It's the only metal that you can form and shape however you like to shape it. Melts in and comes back in the same in the same density. Say so you could just change its form. And it could be used for a lot of things. You never know. Aliens come here and be like, oh, they have an abundant amount of gold. We use that for whatever. Alien Something that they're short of. Hey, yo. <laughs> remolding them to to fit their areas you know what i mean so you, you uh, know, oh that's where my know. dad's been there was another movie i've seen about like that oh man i can't remember what it's called the dude from the dude that played in the wu-tang show on hulu was a star him and jonathan majors um and it was about how the aliens pretty much were they were already on earth and the government made a deal with them and and you had to do like certain types of things and then when you go to jail they send you off to like the alien planet to go to jail or the alien That's ship terrible. to go to jail type shit damn i can't remember what that shit is called that shit was fire I'm gonna look it up while y'all do that'd that. be the real punishment. Don't give niggas the death penalty, give niggas I'm, the alien punishment. I mean that's not far it's it's not far off though because Think about that. Because I mean we go to jail as it is. What if they 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 in, inflict this this these all these rules on us so they can get what they need to get. These motherfuckers out here taking bodies and shit, killing motherfuckers. Motherfuckers getting captured. They getting upstairs. They they going up to these alien ships. They learning about us. They dissecting us, like Kev said. You know what I mean? They taking I mean, over all types of shit. Captive state. That's forward. what it was. Captive state. I never saw that. Those 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 accounts can't be coming from nowhere. The the yeah the being the, abducted accounts or the, the, the cornfields with all, all that, that all the different look like hieroglyphic type shit. The different yeah. different alien writing. Uh, let's let's all right. Let's get into it. Let's really get into it. Let's let's go get into the weeds, bro. All right. So my light went off. Um. <laughs> Do y'all think niggas really get taken up by aliens? Like taken onto alien ships and let back into the into the world? I don't know if they get to be let deemed back. as crazy. Yeah, because when people go missing and they're not found, they just become not found. I don't think they're brought back. Some people have claims of going there and coming back. I I believe it. I kind of some like it's it's hard to believe, but it's like with all these evidence coming out, I was like, maybe this shit is true because it's like, yo, I can take you and put you back. Who the fuck, who's going to believe you? And the people who do Nobody. believe you, yeah, and the people who do believe you is going to hush you up and make you look crazy anyway. My, uh, Your biggest fear should be you knowing something happened and yeah. them being able to go into your mind and erase that shit. Mm. Yeah, you you will push it. You, that should be your biggest fear. With their fingers, you... I don't know about that. But what you're no, with he's anything, talking, he's talking, talking about. I understand what you're talking about. It's like you put like you're suppressing, it. you're suppressing it. Hello? Yeah, 
Yeah, we heard you. You you're the president. But I'm just saying, if nah, you're suppressing it. But that's 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 my point though, bro. Like that should be your biggest fear because that means that they can think about if they had the which they maybe they can, who knows? They could take everybody, they could take anybody, and you wouldn't know because you wouldn't remember. Now what? Imagine that. Mm. Imagine that. Wasn't yeah, like you take your whole come and take your whole family away and like, yo, man, none of y'all fucking remember this happened. That's a scary. That's a scary. They make thought. it so you thought you never even had family. Oh, what's that movie? Since Cap talking about movies, that where, movie where she was lady on the Felicity. Plane. She was no. Nah. Like, they lost her daughter. She lost her daughter, and she was trying to chase them down. She knew she had one. And everybody was telling her that she didn't have a daughter, and come to find out, uh, that was a good was, one. No, that was a good one. They had the aliens. They were. They were. Yeah, they were doing that was a good thing. one, but yeah. not that one. I'm talking about oh, the one with the good. lady from Felicity. Where the birds kept on crashing into our house, but either way, they could play with your, the aliens could play with your mind, and they they took her kid, like they mm. they took her kid. It was the craziest shit in the world. I forget what the movie I was know. called. I, need, I don't know. Look it up. I'm it was a great movie. Great movie. I've never seen Felicity, so I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, it's a girl. It's, it's, her name's you know, it's a girl. Carrie, nah, Carrie, it's a girl, and not Washington. Carrie something. Don't worry about it. But it was the good. Show's called Felicity, right? The show's called Felicity. Go ahead, Kev. Yeah. I, no, I'm just saying that's just fucking. They could, that's just, yeah. they could touch. They could change things in your brain. So that's what I'm. That's my point. Imagine how scary that is, and imagine how, what they already could have done, and you just don't remember. Like, nigga, if y'all done anything to me, man, just tell me y'all done something. Don't be doing no weird shit. Cause I don't want to nah. run across no freaky ass alien, no Diddy Harry alien, Russell. like some. Like that'd be bad if you fucking a rapist alien escapes from another planet and just comes here and just be doing wild <laughs> shit, just raping motherfuckers and erasing their memory and throwing them back on Earth. Like, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, that nigga is terrible. Wouldn't man. you? Terrible. Like, well, I know exactly where to go. <laughs> I heard about oh, dark skies. Dark skies. That was no good. Such, this is a really good movie. There's no such that a thing good. as male or females on our planet. <laughs> Yo, where would you go? <laughs> I got, they got a planet called Earth. Oh, man. You got to see them down there. They don't remember nothing out there. They got holes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> got holes all yeah. over their body. <laughs> all I need is some gold. Make me one of these, uh, and I'm good to go. <laughs> nah, but I just think that's probably the scariest thing in the world because. That's the common denominator. And a lot of people, you know, like maybe they think the memories become unsuppressed or, or whatever have you, or maybe the aliens just didn't do it right. But then they come out with these claims that they've been taken. So that's my point is the scariest thing in the world should be thinking about if they could erase your memory or suppress your memories of them even or doing alter so. Alter it. Or alter yeah, it. Alter. Or, or t- are they tag? Or they tag you? Like we know how we tag a shark and see what they do. They yeah. tag us. They throw you right back to the wild and just track you. We're weak in that way because we are subjected to like whatever this sees and how it sees the world. That's what you're subjected to. So if I am a higher being who could do something that can change something in there, you really yo. This shit get deep. That's why I said put your tinfoil hat on. This shit could get deep, bro. If you want to hear something, want to hear something really deeper about tinfoil hats? They said that the aliens is really us. We've said yeah. that before. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, yeah. Tell us remember more. That video, remember that video where they had they captured that one alien and he fucking is like, "Who are you? I'm I'm you." It was a video somebody made up. He's like, "I'm you. I'm just hit." Basically, the alien was saying he was us. I came okay. from you. I traveled back in time. The reason I study y'all is because y'all destroyed this planet and I'm coming back here to stop y'all from doing it again and making y'all mistake. Basically, that's what they think because US, UFOs being noticed had an uptick, really big uptick when we first dropped the first nuclear bomb. Once we doc- dropped the nuclear bomb, them coming to visit us and flying over military bases or just flying over period just fucking jumped up dramatically. Fucking it like Asgard. It was going from Asgard. Go ahead. And so it was like, yo, maybe, maybe it is us coming back. Like, hey, Blame you fucking funk Dr. Flex. Why? Go ahead. Dropping bombs on us. Correct. Go ahead, please. But I'm saying maybe it's us. Maybe we just came, maybe because they said we fucking became so advanced that we got rid of our 
our reproductive organs and everything we didn't need that fucking limited us to fucking being or somebody said just dumb animals like we we evolved past speech and things like that we was able to connect each connect our all of our brains telepathically we could all communicate that's how we communicate but basically there's you know a couple escape and came back to our our time and trying to stop us from blowing ourselves up <laughs> sounds like the internet to me buddy fucking weird yeah Sounds like the internet to me. Sounds like the internet was the first stages of that, huh? Because you yeah. know the internet is just connecting computers. The internet was created like in 1943. By the way, just want to let well, you know that. Isn't isn't um isn't right. Elon wasn't Musk that right when? Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Who's the guy who implanted himself with the chip in his brain that, that now he can get stuff off the internet? That I don't know. Yeah, hey, I'm about to say. Oh, uh, I got. I, gotta I, do forgot. I remember he, he implanted himself with a chip. Because you got a chip, chip, chip in can, the brain, it's different. Yeah, he put a chip in his brain that he can download information off the internet. It comes to him a lot faster. He can basically connect himself to the fucking internet via his mind. The fuck is his name? I'm gonna find yeah. his name. I yeah, mean, that's like the first year, step. We're probably a hundred years away from that. And if that happens, then there you go. Then you oh, got, through uh, uh, went through uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk had the chip. And he he put it in somebody's brain. The Norlink. The yeah, Norlink. the Norlink. I heard of the Norlink. Nola, Nola. I can't pass it. That's because you're wrong. Is the first person to receive a brain chip implanted from Elon Musk company Norlink. Mm -hmm. So where is Elon Musk getting his technology? Maybe this nigga is an alien. I'm really he starting to think well this could, thing is no, Ellen Arbaugh. No, he very well could. Like that's the oh, thing he was about a thirty this year old quadriplegic man who became paralyzed after a spinal cord injury, a chip surgically implanted by a robot and connected to the brain by threads. And the benefits Arbaugh says the device has helped him play games, surf the internet, and do other things he couldn't do before. I ain't gonna lie, Arbaugh, he might. I mean, that's the if you're gonna do it, that's the dude to do it. You know what I mean? Like there was a movie from that about that called Upgrade, where the dude um movie his wife had gotten to yeah, got into a car accident. I'm pretty sure it was upgrade. And um when he came back, when he came back to life, because they were uh he he used to fix cars and shit, and his wife did she made uh cars that drove themselves, kind of like how Elon Musk got the Teslas where it they drove like themselves. Upload. Nah, I think it's I think it's I think it's upgrade. I think it's upgrade. I think it's on Netflix right now too. Um, and they had gotten to a car accident. The car got thrown off, you know what I mean, thrown into some shit. They got to a car accident and he was paralyzed. And this mm. one really, really smart kid that he ended up selling like an old school car to the kid was like a fucking genius, genius. And he had made a chip that you put uh he pretty much put it like where your neck is. And mm. you're like where I guess where the vertebrae is or something Walmart, like that. Man. I'm looking and, at it right now. And the dude was able to walk around and do shit. Yep. You I know see what I mean? It. Yeah. And 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 he wanted to get revenge on the people. He found out that that whole shit was a setup, so he wanted to get revenge. But but the shit that he could do, he would end up being controlled. He could end up getting controlled from it because the chip was under somebody else. You know what I mean? So imagine if. Elon Musk decides, oh, all these people want to get these chips from Elon Musk. Next thing you know, he hit the switch. Now he control everybody. Because Elon Musk is a is the alien. Is an alien. <laughs> is the alien. He is a fucking <laughs> alien. He is he seems so fucking weird. He body. really does not. Does he really seem like he's from this planet? You ever no. hear him talking? He no. seems like he's like he's like, hey man, I he fucking seem like he's better than you. <laughs> like I mean, he talks like he already better than you. <laughs> Seem the white people run this planet, so I dress myself as a white guy. And I'll just fucking get in yeah. gracious. Yeah, bro. I, I think if you really like start to look in this shit, you real you really will like say, okay, something about him seems off. He's getting a lot of this shit off. If you are an alien in charge of kind of taking things to the next level, or even if you're a nigga coming from a you know from the future and you could dress yourself up in somebody's skin or even infiltrate this shit. You know what I mean? What would you do? You would start trying to make things. There, we talked about this before. There are world changers out there. They're, they existed in every century. 
You know what I mean? Steve Jobs was one of them. Elon Musk is ours now. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, give me some some Henry Ford. You know what I'm saying? Like these people are world changers. They're you know they're going to push they're going to push the world forward. He's but, pushing the world forward at a fucking extremely fast rate. At an extremely fast pace. Like he yeah. is like he is doing so much in such a short amount of time from cars driving themselves to Norlinx, the fucking SpaceX. Like I'm it's just a matter of time for that. He just come out like, hey, listen, bro, I'm not from this, I'm not from this planet or f- from this earth or from this plane of existence. I'm from it's just a matter of time. I'm just waiting for this nigga to say. It. I don't think you'd be shocked. Would you be shocked if that nigga said he was a fucking alien? I probably fucking believe it. No, everybody would believe it. You'll be like, uh, that's every collectively as they announce it on the news, the world will say, oh, that's what would happen. Like everybody would because he does because he's like so kind of far fetched. He kind of this nigga bought Twitter. Yeah, but what? Other than just being an alien and controlling shit, like y'all want y'all to have freedom. Yo, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Have you been yeah. on Twitter? X? Have you seen the things on there and the shit that they post on there? Yeah. It is this, it is awful. Oh, yeah, I know. I know yeah. what I'm saying. I I think I think what they are with with all these movies and people like Elon Musk and that, I think they're desensitizing us to saying, like, listen, bro, we can't keep hiding these motherfuckers forever. Eventually, we're going to have to fucking drop the spaceship on the White House lawn and let you know, hey, look, you really exist. Hey, for real. That, I'm, come on, my nigga. Like, that's going to be the one. It's going to be the one where that shit drops out of the sky because you said that the Hubble telescope is tracking an armada coming this way. Mm-hmm. Right? Nisa, I so, what do you, like, at some point, you're not going to be able to, like, hey, 20 million of us look out of our fucking windows and over DC you see this giant fucking black box flying over where where DC is at or over all the major cities. Then what? What are you going to say? Oh, we've been we've been had knowledge of these things. We just thought we wait. It's like, yo, how can we trust y'all anymore? Like, come on, bro. Y'all y'all couldn't better prepare for these niggas coming. Like, you couldn't have said, "Hey, that's why I think they should say something, and I think that's why this dude David Rush want to say something like, "Hey, look, Shit's how about we fucking crazy. tell the world people join the military, we put the technology out we have, we get better use and accustomed to this shit, learn how to use it. Let's if they do come hostile, we do have somewhat of a fucking fighting chance against them, if a little, even if it is a fucking a pack of fucking bees fighting off a fucking bear trying to get some honey. Like at least we did something." Like at least we went out on our shield. <laughs> Nigga, I'm what? What? You think I ain't gonna be no alien slave? <laughs> Nigga, you would steal a ship and fly the fuck off the planet. Where I'm gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm <laughs> behind the moon for a couple of days. <laughs> be bringing them niggas coffee. Shit. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go I with black. I just <laughs> <laughs> We're black. Yeah. <laughs> um, nah, I think two things about this um this alien armada. The first thing I think of is nigga, we wouldn't know about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I heard it and I'm like, I'm like, yo, in real life, we wouldn't know about that shit. Just like anything else that the government hides from us as far as aliens contact, you wouldn't know about it. Nope. You wouldn't know. And the second thing is, the fuck we going to? <laughs> what you going to do? The armada come. What you going to do? Them niggas might come and all. Them niggas might come and say, "Yo, we got a new world for y'all." Imagine they, the might, they might be a enter the atmosphere the size of Texas, yeah. coming across your atmosphere. What are you going to do? And it's and just going. I ain't going and to they got a bunch of them. They got a bunch of them surrounding that? Earth. And imagine that. A motherfucker who looked like us come out of it and say, you "Yo, it's cool, kid. y'all." Oh no, <laughs> what was you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> they, they come up, you fucked up, kid. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say the nigga come out and say it's all good, y'all. 
They got chicken. Come on. So, we out. Uh, no, seriously. Black, what black if they people. say we good? We good over here. Come on. Anything could happen. Would you get on the ship if the aliens came out? Save I'm gonna take my chance. Drop the space, right? Pep really, Pep and it's really fucking, and it's really like you really see this motherfucker come down, and they say, "Hey, yo, take you good? Get on the ship with us. We out of here." I'm gonna take like, my chance, play. though. Paradise. You, you would go, leave. You will, you will leave. You will leave. I'm gonna take my chance. It's a once in a lifetime chance. What would they describe? How would they get you on? Like, how would they? What would convince you? I don't need much convincing, dog. That's crazy, yo. <laughs> you be fucking <laughs> mining animentium on fucking fucking Saturn's moon for the rest of your life with a fucking uh-huh. shock collar out here. All it takes is all it takes is alien bitches you and thongs. <laughs> I, I, I let, or like you said, they take me somewhere to where a life of blissfulness, peacefulness, beauty. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you want to call your boys? Yeah, Hell yeah. no, they don't get me yeah. involved in this shit. Let me call him real quick. Go see what's up. <laughs> I'm giving that address. Man, How you like that fact? <laughs> man, yo, just yo. keep visiting them. Keep visiting them until they come. Man. Yeah, we'll just yeah, keep going man. back. What's up, y'all? You don't believe me? I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell well, y'all. Tra- you, I came back from my kids. <laughs> so if they, if you go there, all right. Let's say if you go there, right. I really want you to go far into this. All right, let's go. What has to be there? On that planet for you to say, okay, I made the greatest choice in the, I made the greatest choice in my life. I don't know. And I want you imagine, and I want your brain imagine, to open up. Imagine, imagine you see Both of y'all. I would I would never be able to the things that I would I don't know what I would want because I would expect there to be different things than what I'm used to from my planet in general. Like you know, what I mean, I don't know. What if they got no the discrimination best food you've ever ever tasted? What if, what if, that's yeah, what if everyone is unified? That's not good enough. That's you know not what I'm good saying? Enough. What if everyone is unified? You know what I mean? What if no, everyone is rich? You live a bountiful life. Good. You can afford to do whatever you want. Everything is pretty much free. You know what I mean? They they have this this system don't where nothing's, you don't need don't to do anything. They, free. This nigga just don't want to be broke. That's all that is. That's what that sounds like. I just that sounds like you just want to be rich. Do you? I guess you just want to wake up. You ain't gotta be rich if everything's free. You ain't got. I think you just want to wake up and enjoy life. I guess you don't want to have no responsibilities. Like, hey, I don't got to go to work today to provide a meal for me to eat to go do the things I want to do. I just walk out. Have the technology that already does the things that they need for them to do because they're so far ahead that they're like, we've already created. We've already been where y'all been. We had to learn, and we've already learned. This is what we do. This. This shit is already created. We could do this so, and it'll create this for us for an eternity. We have this that'll create this. Hey, we heard y'all like coffee. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just, they got what we got because we, they could just do it. You know what I mean? Like, we don't like that don't, shit, but if you want it, we have a machine that can make it for you instantly. We don't like that you shit. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, you what know would what be mean? your contribution to society? Like, if you, if Nothing. they already have everything in place, <laughs> I'm, no, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. They already have everything in place to do everything they need to do. No different than you having fucking your kids living with you. My kids can turn the lights on, turn it off, do whatever they want, go with come in, they please. But these fucking robots do need maintenance. I'm supposed to fucking do this shit. They do need some kind of service. It do probably cost some is, kind of money. Is, yeah, a robot, you, you, just go like, hey, you just gonna live yeah. here and do hey, nothing. You, you just yeah, you, came you here thinking, to do nothing. You're thinking like a human being, Kev. You're thinking like they don't have materials that just don't fuck Somebody up. Somebody gotta you know put the mean? materials in place. What if they have the brain power where they just they can do shit with their mind and it just puts together on their own? You know what I mean? What if they snap their fingers and they get shit just like that? What if they're like oh, fucking magicians, Kev? You're asking me what it would take for me to get there. Why do I have to do something if they're trying to get me to come? No, I'm. Mm. Sorry, I'm not saying that I don't you don't the question. It, Am I supposed to be leaving to go work with aliens because they need my help, or are they bringing me there because they're like, "Yo, you've done, you've gone through enough in this shitty ass planet with these shitty ass people. Let us show you something different. Let us show you what it's like to actually be around people who ha- are unified. We all love each other. We all do things. The things that we do, you couldn't fathom, and you can't do what we do. Why don't you come and enjoy it? You know what I mean? We can show you a different way of life. Maybe you can learn to do what we do. And then I come back and then I show you some shit. 
You know what and I mean? I'm like trying to get at is like I, maybe I am thinking. I was like thinking you. more of an eternal life and shit like that. Like you yeah, know. I'm, maybe I am thinking along the <laughs> well, lines. We're, of, we're we're human, so you know what I mean. It's oh no, I they, 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 no, they solved that problem that, already. They solved it. Yeah, but what if they solved it for themselves? No, they you solved it mean? for you. That's what they're ready for. We was ready for y'all niggas to come. We solved the eternal it's life. A, it's a bonus, but then I but then I'd have to see. I don't know if I would really want eternal life because I don't know what happens with my soul when I'm gone. You know, no, I mean? you could die when you feel like it. Oh shit, that's crazy. So I just feel like dying today's the day, huh? Boom. If I, I have I'm eternal life, do I if do I get do I stay an age? Can I choose an age? Do I still get older? You, you know what I mean? How does life you progress? Want. That's, that's why I say open up your brain. It could be you could go down, you can go up, you can go, you know, you could die. You just can't come back. Once you die, it's like, yeah. all right, that's it. That's it. You gotta go to the die doctor. <laughs> you go you like, are you ready? Die, I'm like, I never thought this day would come. <laughs> so a, I, I knew you was I knew you was headed here. I've been living for two million years, and you uh -huh. you've only been living a thousand years. You tired of this shit already? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> No, no, yeah. I, I'm just trying. I, I'm not yeah, expecting like, to. Be, if if an alien is asking me to come with them, I'm not thinking about me having to go there to do work. If it's first of all, I'd have to not be scared. You know what I mean? Like this has to be I'll a be situation terrified. where, where, where they've been around for a while already. We've already got some type of information from them. Maybe they're choosing certain people, and mm. you are lucky to be chosen if that's the case. And not everybody's gonna go. You know what I mean? What if they know shit that we don't like? Yeah, well, we're only coming to get you because y'all planet are going. It's going to go soon in your lifetime. You know what I mean? And you are. Right. You feel like we feel like you're valuable to you're cool. society as a person. You come here. You you understand unity. We'll bring you with us. You don't need to do anything because everything is already done. Shit, we don't even do anything anymore. You think we flew the ship here? No, we got in it and it just decided to come here because we knew where we wanted to go. All we had to do was think it, and it got here. You know how long okay, it took us yeah. to get here? Forty-five human minutes. We've, tri we've traveled. <laughs> we've traveled billions of light years to get here. It took forty-five human minutes. You think we give a fuck go. about if you could go over here and build a house, or if you could fucking? You think we give a fuck about math? <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't give a fuck about what you can do because you can't do what we do. I bet you. I bet. I bet you. You will only go. You well, only I way you I want to know what it would take for you to go. No, no, go no, no. Look, even if they told him this shit, the only way he would go. Listen to me. This <laughs> yeah, is, the this, best. This is straight up. <laughs> if they just ran all this shit down the kid that he wants, only way he would go if they looked in a human form, in a humanoid form that he can accept and his brain can register as friendly. If the motherfucker said all that I shit agree. to you and looked like the fucking devil, predator with oh. horns and teeth and claws, but they're friendly as could be. They look like this. They look like what you imagine the devil to look. Don't expect you wouldn't that. get on that motherfucker. You wouldn't get on it. You would Don't not get on it. it even after they ran down everything they ran down to you. Because the it's first thing in your mind is like people on this world is going to eat me. Who look like you and I, and I don't, I don't, I don't trust them. You know what I mean? And they human beings. You know what I mean? You, you have would to not show get me on that shit. fucking plane if they you ran that shit down to you shit. and they look like the devil. They look like a demon. Y'all know about shape shifters. Y'all niggas don't know don't, about shape shifters. Yeah, that's what I I'm fuck shape shifter. You look like this. You can't escape how that looks, but they run down the, the best thing ever. They look like a demon, but they ran that down to you. Would you get on that shit? What? I don't. I don't expect uh, them to tell me to give me shit that I can already that I can already get here. That's not what I'm looking for. If you no, tell me, oh, we got a mountain mile, we, you, that's not going to make me get on a ship. If they tell me that they've got money and I could be rich, that's not going to get me on no, a ship. I'm not saying you know that. I mean? I'm so, just saying all the shit you ran down to me that would make you leave this planet. Would you, all the shit you just explained to us that we sat there and listened to, if these aliens told you all this, and this is bliss, it seems like, yo, I'm about to experience heaven on. I should leave. Mm -hmm. If they took their fucking helmet off and they looked like a fucking demon, I'm like, oh, you would nigga, not, you ugly too. <laughs> you're not getting on that chip, I mean, but I got candy. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not gonna get on that Running shit. Down shit. I, Something I your brain is gonna say, like, yo, they gotta <laughs> look a certain way to you because the fucking most hostile ones can look the most peaceful. That's what well, I'm saying. Like, well, I wouldn't you know what to expect they run from an alien. An alien comes here. First of all, if something looks like it's going to kill me, I'm going to expect that it's going to kill me. So I'm going to try to escape first. 
And if I realize that I can't escape because it's a fucking alien and he can go wherever I can go, then I'm just going to have to my brain's going to turn into it's going to be more reasoning than every, anything. I'm going to be scared to death. But at some point, I'm going to be like, hmm, if he wants to take me, if he wants to kill me, he can. So what are my options here? Am I going to fight this motherfucker who can apparently do everything that I can't and fucking kill me immediately with no hesitation and it's just Quack. over? Am I going to see what he has to offer? You know what I mean? Am I going to keep trying to run till there's no avail? No, I'm not going to have any other options but to either see what he's going to go, see if he's going to let me live or see if he's going to kill me. And if he's letting me live, then there's some type of a this. My brain's going to come to some type of um, point where it's going to be like, well, if he's not trying to kill me, then what what's going on here? Now I'm curious. And once I become curious of some shit that I don't know, I've never seen. I fuck around and take the bait. No matter what he fucking looks like, because shit, we know ugly ass niggas who we friends with, and we cool with them. Yeah, so <laughs> Dre know a few ugly niggas. You ain't friend with a two foot bear, nigga. Like, <laughs> like nigga. Yeah, but I what don't was, know what to expect from an alien when an alien looks like. So you wouldn't. Okay, I put it to you like this way, Kev. I put if he was the devil. A then, nerd, if sure you seen a fucking nursery shark before, that don't like, eat fucking people, that don't attack people, that are really friendly to people. But you just see that motherfucker is in the form of a shark. You're getting the fuck about the ocean. You're not going to say, hmm, let me take my chances and see if this motherfucker bites or not. Even though it's a nursery shark and the motherfucker doesn't look as an awesome. Yeah, but I've already made that point that if he looks like something that's going to attack me, I'm going to try to escape. But if he, I can't escape, then what's my option? Okay, if you're in the middle of the ocean and you can't get out the water and a shark is coming, you're going to try to escape. But when you can't escape, what happens? It's fight or fight, right? It's fight or flight, right? And then you realize, oh, this motherfucker's not even trying to harm me. Now you have a, a sense of relief, but you don't know what to expect. Yeah. It's a shark. Have you you swimming faster than a shark? I doubt it. No. Nah. You know the what I'm saying? The reason I asked this question is because right. it, was a, it was I was watching some like fucking clip of an alien, pl- an alien ship that landed and the alien that came off the ship was, it looked like a demon. And all the people fucking ran and was terrified from it, but it wasn't. It was fucking harmless. And what would it take for you to go to another me. planet? <laughs> what would it take How for you? I'm not going to another planet, bro. You can show. If you got all this technology, bro. You can show me a fucking hologram, my nigga. Show me what it looks like. But like, how can yeah, I trust? They show you that, and it, I, what would it take yeah. for them to show you for you to go? I'm cool, bro. I, I don't have no problems with Earth. I'm not going. It, it, y'all, nigga, you have to promise me a planet of my own. I'm not. Other than that, I'm not going. I'm cool. <laughs> I think to say I want my own private planet. Yeah, Nobody's gonna planet. bother me. Yeah, nigga. Like <laughs> all nigga, the great take I can drink. Leave you there. Uh, Unless hey, you a planet, ain't shit on here though. Bye. Listen, man. <laughs> yeah, make 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 new human make new humans. Yeah, I can repopulate your planet for you, <laughs> but I'm saying I don't think I. <laughs> How you gonna do that, Kev? By yourself? Hey, leave me with some. Leave me with some uh, alien bitches. space women that can accept human seeds. These devil looking <laughs> women. women. Give me one of y'all devil they, looking. Wait, women. wait, but they got bodies. <laughs> they got, but they got bodies. An alien head with a banging body, mm. best body that you've ever seen, though. Would you, like, like, would you have to get past them big ass eyes or the best? But listen, listen to what I'm saying. The face is like that, but everything else is your dream woman, and it's like a million of them, and they all want you. Now what? And ain't I'm no other man. Ain't planet. no other man. Ain't no other man, man there. It's only you. I ain't got no choice, bro. <laughs> jacking no, off. I'm no, jacking off. Is you going? I'm saying. Is you going? No, no, no. <laughs> all right, yo. I don't Our think people. I can. I think I'd be hesitant to leave Earth with aliens because it's like, yo, man, I can't trust the motherfuckers I'm here on this planet with. But they ain't killed me yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know I'm they've cool. Attempted. I ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody ever. I ain't ever had no attempt on my life yet. I ain't fucking Martin Luther What's King. About, nigga? I had no attempt on my life. You yet. were running through the damn grass, and you had to drop Calvin, and then all you heard was. 
Because Yo, niggas shot shotgun shells over the body. The hinges. If you I know kicked, the story. I kicked your door. Yeah, remember how many times that story's been told on the podcast in the last six you years? Know, they've been man, doing this shit. Hey, and see, and you don't even know the backstory to it, even though I told it. I kicked He'll his still door. Say it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nigga, I somebody shot anymore. at you. That's an attempted murder, nigga. What's wrong with you? You don't know what. How you. Hey, yo, you're the most contradictive spoken yo, person I've ever met. Can, can <laughs> still say, I don't know if y'all heard this story before, but <laughs> that's the yeah. story. Yeah. We could have a compilation of stories for Kev where they're the same stories from different right, listen. <laughs> we, we're we all break it up. We're rambling, so I'm guessing this is the hey. time to wrap the podcast up. I got shit to do. Oh, you're a piece of shit. Listen, no, 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 no. Listen, piece of shit. listen, I'm listening. My family got to come with me. It got to be a better, like, it got to be a, like, it has to be a reason. My family got to come with me. If my friends want to come, they could come too. And we maybe have to rebuild or build a civilization somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, I'm black I people ain't talking. I might, have to, I might have to father some, some, you know, some kids there, but I'm just saying, I guess they wouldn't take me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Probably. Hey, yo, they out. probably yeah. could. Them niggas could go, yeah. yo, you got an issue? I got you. And they just <laughs> grab your nuts and heal them. <laughs> they got to grab them, though. Alien, <laughs> a devil looking alien has to grab your nuts and be like, just <laughs> I tell, mean, drop your drugs. I'm, I'm the drop opposite drugs. of Kev. You give me a drop whole bunch things. of them, you give me a whole bunch of them alien bitches, but the bodies is crazy. They all could fix my balls. <laughs> they act like they act like paper bags was never invented. Uh, <laughs> nigga, you but you bust a nut and forgot you do. bust a nut and go to sleep and then roll over and wake up. You'll think you're being a duck. Why am I sleeping there? This nigga think I'm going <laughs> to sleep next to her. Yeah, it might be the best. Bitches. It might be the best nut you ever bust your bust your life and pass out. Alien, I'm going to sleep. He'll he'll just hit it from behind and turn around and run. Yeah, Kev will be living with him. Yeah. Make him some of that alien soup y'all be making. <laughs> got that right. I'm going house to house to house. I'm going to visit all my kids. Yo, oh, alien chilling. soup. What the fuck does alien soup have in it? Oh, I don't know. Yo, but what the like fuck a, they got to eat? That's another alien thing you got to think about. Like, hey, man, they got Whatever some, you want. It taste, they, this I shit tastes you. like and chicken. You don't gain weight. But it's a giant well, fucking you want, slug thing weight. in your bowl, but it tastes just like chicken. They don't farm food, nigga. We just, we just, it just appears, and you don't gain weight, and you never have health issues. Yeah, those is all. Never. Those is all primitive never. human thinking. Y'all talking about not being like a fucking human just to go on this alien planet and fucking. I'm just saying. I, 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 I y'all are bringing y'all fucking human you characteristics. You can't get rid of your humanity. Fucking, yeah. You don't you go there and then not human no more. Yeah, you just want different things, or you want to see different things. You want to experience it. It's a, it's a now now you're on a, a a different adventure. Like it's one thing to go out of the country. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, I'll go out of the country. Let me see what this looks like. See what that looks like. But now you're going into a whole nother realm, and life for you as you know it is over. You know what I mean? But you're still gonna have yearnings of what you used to love and what you used to be especially like family and ties and you never know you might want to play a video game just because of the nostalgia but when you go to a different planet you're expecting to see some wild shit and if you don't you're going to be disappointed like nigga i could have did this at home bro what yo what if a hundred years there is just 10 days here I'm and they say yo you. we just need you for we just need you for 100 years come here we want to you know, ask you a bunch of questions. You can live life. You can understand how it is to live a peaceful life here and then take back what you learned to America, to America, to, uh, to earth. Would you do that? It's 10 days. Yeah, and I'm they can prove, sure. and they can prove to you that it's 10 days. They can say, no, we can prove it to I'm you. I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty go sure. hundred years over here. I'm pretty sure some people on that planet, on this planet, might do that. they did it. They already probably already done it. You'll be a different person though. In all honesty, you would be, but I think it's a fun thought experiment because you'll be I a different you- person. If After Elon Musk years. ain't an alien, he did that shit. If Steve Jobs wasn't an alien, he probably took that trip too. No, he did. <laughs> the aliens saying, came back, bro. Right listen, he, he, he might be <laughs> dead or he might yeah. fucking. We gave you all this information bro. and you came back and you made iPhones. It's over for you. <laughs> you could have cured I mean, cancer. 
You could have cured this. You could have cured that. And you decided to make iPhones. <laughs> that <was laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yeah, maybe our maybe our diseases is our diseases. Maybe we like, hey man, y'all listen. Our diseases are our diseases. What yeah, we if can't, we can't cure live... something on your planet that we never experienced before that we don't what have. If, we got to get a couple of y'all bodies under a like. What if what if we do have a firmament over top of us and it was put there by aliens because at one point we did travel and some mad disrespectful shit happened. Oh, and shit. now we're to, now we're stuck on this shit because of some shit that somebody else did. Y'all don't want to write a movie because that's what I keep thinking every time I hear all these. Things. Like these are like ten movies, ten movies or books. These are just hypotheticals. We were just talking about UFOs. Exactly. I don't know how we got. We were supposed to talk about do they really exist and everything. We went. Yeah, we're doing a part two. It doesn't matter. So this is this is part <laughs> one. It's part one. Yeah, we gotta do some more research. I think part two you should yeah. bring more. We'll get into the I mean, I blue book. We'll get into the we gotta have fun with it too. So yeah, uh, Drake's talking about fucking aliens and you talk about smoking space weed. So listen, I didn't say anything about smoking space weed, but <laughs> that's <laughs> hilarious though. <laughs> you, yo ass Nigel, to get you're playing alcohol. Yo. Like, nigga smoke this shit. Space weed. <laughs> the nigga leave. That nigga leaves a fucking multiverse. He goes through the multiverse off of one the joint. History, the history of marijuana is, is light is an alien plant. So like could have always smoke been this. smoking space weeds. Smoke this, and you will get the understanding to life. They they'll give back. Kev. They'll give Kev the ability to just be drunk without having to drink anything. He'll just hey, bro. Get a button, <laughs> Let me skip. Might, he might take that. Yeah, yeah, let me skip. Might take that. Let me skip the bullshit. Just yo, this will get you where you need just, to be. Yo, just get you fucked up. I think the hundred years. I think the hundred years thing. You would do that. I think I, I, yeah, I want to write. I want to write something about that. I think that's yo, cool. bro. Oh, I, that you know, know, okay, this is how I will leave. Some nerd shit. Some cornball shit. If Naruto yeah. was on a non-stop fucking nah, loop, nigga, yeah, if, nigga, if they, nah, nigga, if they could say, "Hey, I take another <laughs> planet and give you Goku powers," y'all be out. I knew it was gonna be something. I knew it was gonna be fucking geek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking right. I'll come. He got there right. Come back. <laughs> I run this. That would be the now, reason bitches. that Earth would go into shambles. Yeah, and he'll come he'll back, come back with him. Yeah, because <laughs> he'll just fly back to Earth with the powers. <laughs> he got there right. Yeah. Telekinesis. Yeah. Uh, instant, instant telekinesis. Instant telekinesis. Time travel. Yeah, That'd nigga. be hilarious. Yeah, come back with sand powers. You got there right. I'll leave. He'll be around here looking for. Soon as he get there, <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Watch this. He'll we'll try to show KB accidentally incinerate that they motherfucker. Like, yo, <laughs> why, yeah, yo, watch this, get, bro. Why, oh shit! Why do you get this nigga Superman powers? Yeah. <laughs> They'll come back and kill you immediately. Next time on the Opinionated Podcast. All right. All right, man. This is episode one, man. We're wrapping this shit up today, man. Next time we're gonna come back <laughs> with more information, man. Enjoy the rest of y'all week and y'all Sunday. Enjoy the games, man. We see y'all next weekend. Yeah, Daryl. Kev, can't do that. <laughs>